In this video, we're going to show you two different ways to bridge your tokens from Ethereum to the base network, helping you to save on some fees. And there'll be a timeline in the video description for those looking to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. First up a little bit about bridging. So bridging is the process of moving tokens from one network to another. For instance, if you've got some ETH on the main Ethereum network and you want to use it on the base network, bridging lets you transfer it over. And this enables you to benefit from faster and cheaper transactions on the base network. So if you've got some tokens on Ethereum, but you'd like to bridge them over across to the base network, there's basically two different ways that you can do this. The first way I'm going to show you is using an actual bridge. However, just be warned that the fees can be high here, and I'm going to show you an example of that in a moment. The second way is going to be withdrawing your crypto on the base network from the likes of an exchange. And there's some advantages and disadvantages of using this method too. So let's jump in and take a look. The bridge that I'm going to be showing you today will be within MetaMask. However, there are many other bridge tools available in multiple different wallets. The process will be very similar, but obviously will differ depending on the wallet that you're using. And I've got a full MetaMask tutorial available if you would like to find out more. So once you've opened up MetaMask, you'll find the option to bridge just below your balance in the center of the screen. When you click on it, you'll then be redirected to the bridge screen. And under bridge tokens, I can choose which network I'd like to transfer from and to. Now one little bit of advice here is to connect your wallet first. For some reason, I came across some issues when I selected my networks and tokens first, and then I tried to connect the wallet afterwards. And it may not happen to you, but just in case it does, maybe try connecting your wallet first. Now I need to connect up the wallet that I want to send and receive these tokens within. I'm actually going to connect up my MetaMask wallet but you can use the MetaMask bridge with other types of wallets too. With MetaMask, you'll then need to choose the account that you want to use with the bridge. Then choose Next and Connect. Once that's done, you'll then see your account or address connected in the top right. So now we can say that we want to bridge our tokens from the Ethereum network. However, there are other network options here too that you can choose from if your tokens are on another network. Mine are on Ethereum, so that's what I'm going to select. Then we state which tokens on Ethereum that we'd like to bridge. And you can see here that there's a long list. In my case, it's ETH, so I'm just going to choose that. Next, I choose the network I want to bridge them to. And we're going to choose the base network. But again, if you have some tokens on Ethereum and you want to bridge them to something like the Polygon network, you can do that from here. Then enter the amount of ETH tokens that you'd like to send. I'm just going to be bridging a test amount here to show you as an example. So I'll just enter a 0.01 ETH. Then under Receive, choose the token that you'd like to receive as a base token. I want to receive these as ETH so that I can use them to pay for transactions on the base network. So I'm just going to select that from the drop down. MetaMask will then go away and find you the best rates or prices, which as you can see here is with a cross bridge, as the transaction time is fast and the fee is quite low but we can view the other options available by clicking choose a different quote. And as you can see, there are four quotes in total, but the gas fees are a lot higher and the times are actually slower. You can also sort these by the best price or the fastest based on your preference by choosing the different tabs at the top. I'm gonna to stick with across. And it'll then show you the total and the amount that you're gonna be paying in gas fees, plus the MetaMask charge too, which they charge at 0.875%. When you're happy, you can go ahead and confirm. We will then be redirected to your wallet to confirm, which in our case is MetaMask. So here it shows a breakdown of what we're sending and also the estimated fee. We'll then need to click on the blue confirm button at the bottom here to proceed with the bridge of our tokens. And the transaction will then be submitted. You can track its progress by clicking on the bridging to base box in the bottom right where you can now view the status and estimated time remaining. As it states here, I should now be able to view the ETH in my wallet. And it's letting me know that I need to switch networks to see my new funds in my wallet. And the task here is to switch to base in MetaMask. 
So let's head across to our MetaMask wallet now. And under the Activity tab, here we can see our bridged ETH, and this is currently showing on the Ethereum network. If I wanted to view the bridged ETH in MetaMask, we'd then need to switch networks to base. And as I said, you can use other wallets to bridge tokens too. For example, the Coinbase wallet also has the ability to bridge from the home screen here. When we press on Bridge, you'll see that it's a very similar process in the fact that you choose the network you're sending from, in our previous example Ethereum, and which network you'd like to bridge your tokens to, which again would be the base network. But there are a few other options to choose from here too. And you'd simply enter an amount and then preview. Now I don't really have anything in this wallet to show and the fees here are quite a bit higher too. But I did want to show you that you're not just restricted to bridging over on MetaMask. Now although the fee that I paid earlier on MetaMask wasn't particularly expensive, it was a small transaction. And this process can work out to be expensive on other wallets or when the congestion on Ethereum is high. So as I said, there is another way that you can bridge tokens. This is by finding an exchange that supports transactions on the base network. In my case, it's Coinbase, but the likes of Binance also support the base network too. And if you don't already have a Coinbase or a Binance account to use, I'll have some sign-up links in the summary. So let's head across to Coinbase.com. And I've already got some Ethereum here in my wallet. If your Ethereum is elsewhere, like in another wallet, you'll find that you'll need to send your tokens to Coinbase.com first. And when they're available on Coinbase, all we're going to be doing is sending these back to your base supported wallet, which in my case was MetaMask. So I'm going to go to send and receive from the top of the screen. I'll then need to make sure that I'm on the send tab at the top. Then select Ethereum and enter how much I'd like to send in USD. It'll then ask where I'm sending this Ethereum to. And as it states, I need to select the network and the recipient. So although my tokens are currently on Ethereum at the moment inside of Coinbase, I can withdraw these on the base network, Arbitrum network, Optimism, etc. I'm going to select base from the list. And as you can see here, the estimated fee is just one cent. You'll then need to confirm that the recipient can accept ETH on the base network. And this is particularly important as cryptocurrency transactions are non-retractable. And if you make a mistake, you do risk losing your crypto. The wallet I'm going to be sending to is my MetaMask wallet, which does support the base network. But you can use the likes of the Trust wallet or Coinbase wallet, which also support the base network. As they state here, if you're sending for the first time, or if you're feeling a little bit nervous, just send a smaller test amount first before you send across all of your crypto. And I'll need to enter my base address into here. So if I head across to MetaMask now, First, you're going to need to select the base network from the list of available networks. If the base network isn't showing and you're not sure how to do this, you can check out our tutorial how to use the base network with MetaMask, which will take you through setting all this up step by step. Then, under your account, just copy your address to the clipboard. And you can then paste that back over on Coinbase. And hit enter. Where you can then preview your send. So our networks will be sent on the base network. And the process of sending these to my wallet is going to cost me one cent, which is a lot less than the bridge that we used earlier. However, if you initially had to send your tokens to Coinbase first, it will depend on the transaction cost or the gas fees that you need to pay to send. So you will have to weigh this all up. But when you're happy, you can choose to send now. And the transaction is now complete, and mine took around 15 seconds. If we now head across to MetaMask, you'll see my ETH showing up in my MetaMask wallet. So that's two different ways that you can bridge your tokens. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides.